In this video, we are going to show you how the Explore app's library and collections can really help use the features of your compatible Garmin device. We will also show you how to organize your data. If you haven't already downloaded maps to the Explore app, please see our downloading maps to the Garmin Explore app video. You can plan your next adventure in the Explore app and sync it to your Garmin device. An adventure can also be recorded on a device and can be saved to the app and your Explore account. All of this data will be saved in a collection you create. Let's open the Explore app and create your first collection. Select the library. This is where your collections will be, just like a collection of books at the library. To create a collection, just select Add and then Create New Collection. Give your collection a name. In this video, we are creating a simple collection for bicycle rides. However, you can also create collections for different events or specific locations. Once you've named your collection, select OK. Now that we have a collection created, let's create a course to ride and save it in this new collection. Select the map icon. Topoactive mapping allows the creation of courses to follow local streets, paths, and mark trails. Select the Map Layers icon and make sure that you have Topoactive downloaded and selected. We are going to use color aerial imagery with Topoactive to have a better idea of the area for our ride. Select the plus icon followed by Create a Course. You will see a short tutorial on how to create a course. With Topo Active selected, the Snap to Path Magnet icon will be displayed. Tap the screen to select your starting point. Tapping at any point where the road, path, or trail is will create your course. When you are done, just select Save. Then, name your course by selecting the date at the top. Now, Select to Edit Collections in red is available. Select it, followed by selecting the collection that was just made. Then tap Save. The new course is now in that collection. Depending on how you would like to organize your library, you could create another collection. You might want all of your bike rides in one collection and then separate collections for hiking or running. You can even specify which device a collection belongs to. In the Library tab, select Add, followed by Create New Collection. Then name the collection and select OK to save. Select Courses within the library and select the course that was just created. Then select Collections, followed by selecting the new collection. Now tap Save. The course will now show in both collections. Now we will send one of those courses to any of the devices in our Explore app. Select the device icon at the bottom, followed by selecting the InReach Mini 2 satellite communicator. We will just be syncing the Bike Rides collection to our InReach Mini 2 device. Tap Sync Settings, followed by Sync Selection. Now select the Bike Rides Collection. Select Save, followed by the back arrow to return to the device information screen. With the device paired and turned on, the sync will complete. The running collection can also be sent to our Phoenix 7 Multisport GPS watch, so we can do the same course as a run on another day. Once the sync has completed, we can confirm the course is on the InReach Mini 2 device. Scroll down and then select Navigation with the OK button. Select the menu. Then select Navigate. Finally, scroll down to Courses and select it. The course we've just created will be listed and can be selected with the OK button. Selecting Go will load the course. We can also confirm the course is on the Phoenix 7 watch. Begin by opening your activity list by pressing the Start Stop button. 
Then scroll down and select Navigate, followed by scrolling down and selecting Courses. Then select the course you've just created. Finally, select Do Course. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.